Hello everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new playthrough on the channel. After our visit to the Cthulhu Mythos via Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu earlier this morning, we have a tea time coming up. To that end, we're going to play Appa Golf from Appa Games. Just like it sounds, this one's a golf simulator. We're going to be playing at the DC Metro Golf Course, which is the one that comes with Appa Golf, if you remember my product unboxing of that quite a while back. I've been playing this off and on, but really it was after Appa Hockey that I kind of wanted to revisit this game, to the point where Jesser and I got together last month after that to replay, to do a few learning holes on this game, and I decided, and I, I still, still wasn't quite sure I was going to get it on the channel, but finally I decided to bite the bullet, and now we're going to put it on the channel today. So we've got our golfer lined up, so let's go meet him now. If you're familiar with APA, then you know the rough layout of the cards, where usually it's a mess of numbers and some stats on there. But we're going to be playing as Tiger Woods today. So here's a look at his card. We've got four columns on here. Woods, Iron, Approach, and Putting. We'll roll for those on various charts, just like we did for APA Hockey. Average for Woods is a 2, and Irons is a 3. That will mostly impact the direction that they tend that he tend that they that the golfers tend to hit their shots in. There's some other stats here toward the advanced rules. Well, we may work some of those in as well. I'm still I'm still kind of getting the feel for Appa Golf a bit, but I think I'm at a point now where I'm comfortable enough with the game to get the feel, to have the feel for it to put it on the channel. So let's move over to the main game area and we'll set up our course for today. We'll do a little bit of setup on each hole previously, kind of get the 10,000 foot view on how everything's going to work. But I want to mention two markers that I'm going to have on here. First, I'm going to have this red flag, which is indicating where the ball currently is. Then I've got these arrow tokens as well that would be used for pathways for Arkham Horror, the card game. But I decided I didn't like these paths, these pathway arrows. So what we're going to use that for is where we're aiming. So whatever spot we look at, that's where we'll be aiming at. On the course, we've got the grids here. Each one measures, I believe, five yards. Each, each square, I believe, measures five yards until we get to the green. Then it changes out depending on the, whether you're on a straightaway or a diagonal. But our first order of business is that we need to determine the wind for today. We'd like to see a 40, actually we want to see a, an 11 to 46 to keep it calm because I don't want to play with too much wind today. That's a 33, so we are looking at calm weather. I'm not going to worry about the course conditions. Calm wind, whoops. And we'll do another D6 for the pin we're aiming at today. We're aiming at pin 5. Oh, this is going to be fun. Tournament will be YouTube Exhibition. Let's see, I get three clubs that I get to bring along with me in addition to the standards. The, I believe the standards are, let me just double check here. Um, I know there's, oh, here we go. Starts with four through nine irons, three wedges, a driver, and a putter. I'm going to bring along a, I'm going to bring along a three wood. a two iron, and a four wood. So I'm going to load up with a little bit more power on this course. But I think that's everything else we need to set up here. So I'm going to move the red marker down to the first, to the first tee. It might be a little bit hard to see, but that is where our tee shot is. So we're all set. Let's get into our first hole. The first hole is a pretty straightaway, is mostly a straightaway hole, so we'll be aiming, so we've got our 402 yard par 4, with a very slight dogleg, not enough to really note, and looking at, we've got some sand over to either side of the, of the fairway, we've got some on near the green as well, pin 5 is way, might be a little bit hard to see, we'll zoom in just a second, we'll see pin 5 is actually right here. It's hard to see. I'll actually mark that with a 
So that's where the pin is. You can see that's where pin five is that we're aiming at today. So I'll zoom back out. Then we are going to grab the driver for our first shot. And then where do I want to aim? His average is, so if I were to roll a two on his driver, I would hit it, I would hit it, hit it 15 yards to the right. The way that's noted is anything under the center line is to the right. Anything above it is to the left. So bearing it, so 280 right 15 would put me about here. So if I actually know, it would put me here. So if I have that in mind, I want to aim, I'm going to aim a little bit away from the center line. So I don't lean too much into that. I'm going to aim, I'm going to aim 10 yards to the left which means we'll be calculating from that as our center line. So if I take, if I get my average result, I have a choice there. I believe the choice there is that I can either have a travel, have the ball travel left to right five yards less, or I, I can choose to have a travel five less. Okay. So let's go ahead and roll for our first shot. That's a 36, which on a woods is a 14. That sounds problematic. 14 is 255, right 30, roll 30. So first, I'm going to grab another. Actually, I've got the, here we go. We'll use it double-sided for where it's actually landing before I move the flag over to it. So what did we say? We rolled, what was that, a 36 for a 14, which is 255, Right 30, then roll 30. So first we'll go out to 255. So from here, so 255, right 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that's where we were aiming. Actually, we were aiming, wait. We were aiming 10 yards to the, wait. I was aiming 10 yards left. Because it tends to hit to the right, so I was aiming up here. So it went 255, right 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and then roll 30. I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I'm actually down here, which isn't a bad tee shot, actually. It's not a terrible tee shot at all. So that's, so that's where I ended up. I ended up with a total of... 285 yards out of that tee shot. So I'm right, actually, let's bring the flag in. So I end up right there. That's where my first shot ended up. That's not bad at all. Now for my second shot, since I'm short sighted, I'm on the same side of the pin. I'm on the same side as the pin. So I can't aim for the pin. What I'm going to do though is, okay, so now I've got to come back to the center line which is 5, 10, 15, back 5, and then 5. So I'm actually ending up at the 2. Actually, let me turn this so it's somewhat straight. So I'm going to end up... So for calculating distance, I'm going to end up 5, 10, 15, back 5. So I'm at the 280 mark. So I'm at the 280 on the center line, which means I have about 100... I have 122 yards to the center of the green, but I don't necessarily want to aim for the center of the green. I think I want to go more, so 275, so 100, five, so 100 would put me at 375, 5, 10, 15. I think 115 is what I want to do more. Then I want to work the, then I have an option that I can work the ball Actually, do I have that on the club that I think I want? Because that's going to be 120. The question is, do I even have the club I want coming off the fairway? My fairway, my irons are a three, so... I think the sand wedge will be just perfect for the job. I go left, I tend to go left with those, so I would end up... So if I hit it, my, if I get my average shot on it, I would be 120 left 5. So if I get my average shot, I think I would be right about... 
It'd be right about there. So I'm going to work the ball. I'm going to work the ball 15 to the right. Actually, I forgot to roll for working the ball. No, I didn't work the ball the first on the first shot, but now I am going to. So that's going to be a 120. I'm going to work the ball 15. I'm going to work the ball 15 left. I believe that's how that works. Let me just double check that. I could also hit a knock... Actually, I forgot I could hit a knockdown shot, too. Um, no, I think we're going to hit the... I think we're going to go for the sand wedge as normal. So sand wedge as normal. So I'm, so I'm actually, so on my origin line, I'm going to work it, actually I want to work it, that's my origin line, I want to work it 10 left. So I'm going to work the ball 10 yards to the left. And now I'm on my sand wedge, so I need my second shot. I'm going to go back to that chart. There we are. That's a 54, which sounds very problematic. 54 is a 15. That's a terrible shot. 115, 115 carry, right 15. Then I've got to roll for working. So, so let's deal with the main shot first. So what did we say? That was a 54 was a, four, was a 15. 15 is 115. Right 15, so I ended up short. So 120, 115, right 15, 5, 10, 15, and I'm right down in the sand. But I have to roll for working the ball. Which will be on my irons column again. 15 is a 2 which is not my average, so I work at minus five, which is going to put me still in the sand, which is unfortunate, but there's no help for that. So I had 115. It was 115, right 15. Where did I put my pen? One fifteen, right 15. I would have had roll, but not landing in the sand. And then working the ball plus zero. All right, so actually, I think I end up at 10, 15. I think by working the ball, I end up on the green, which is very fortunate for me. And that's one diagonal away. So I have a diagonals, I believe, are 30 on the green. Let me just double check that. I forget the measurements here. Uh, each square equals 10 feet. One diagonal, 20 feet minus two dice. So we're 20 minus three, so we're 17 feet away. Which means I'm on the green and I've got a 17-foot putt that I'm looking at. Which is going to be yet another chart. Okay, I'm going for birdie on this one. Now I have a choice of do I want to go for it or do I want to play it safe? And I think we're going to go for it. So we'll roll to get our result. A 25 is a, 25 on putting is an 8, 15 to 19 going for it. That's in for a birdie. So we're one under par to start this round, but I don't think, looking at how long that hole took, I don't think we're going to go for a full round here. But we can get everything set up for our second hole. Our second hole is a par 3, 204 yards. 
pin five is actually on the is actually on the left side of the green. So it's about there. Let's see, 175, 180, 185. Do I have a do I have a club that hits 185 on a typical three? Uh, 190. Um, actually, that's the average is a three for Tiger Woods. 180. I've got to factor in carry as well, I think. Is there a reason I can't hit a knockdown shot off the tee? Because I might be tempted to do that. Um, attempt to knock down, may attempt to knock down middle or. Yeah, actually, I could probably work a knock. I could probably try to hit a knockdown shot because what do I want? 185? It's on a three on a five iron. Yeah, I think I think we're going to go for a five iron and try to hit a knockdown shot. That would be exactly 185, and I want to work the ball. I want to work the ball five. Actually, I hit the ball on irons. I didn't hit it left anyway, so I don't think I want... Well, I got to factor in roll, too. So I think, yeah, I think we go, I think we go for a five iron and hit it as a knockdown shot. We'll do it that way. So we're aiming, so we're basically, so we're not technically aiming, but we're basically aiming for the pin. A 65 on irons is a four. This might actually be even a little better. So we rolled a four on that. A four with the, we hit it, and remember, we hit a knockdown shot. So we hit it 180. Right five, roll five. I think that's going to be a beautiful shot. So 180 is five yards short. We hit it right five, and then we had roll five. Right on a, on a four, yep. Roll five on the green, so... So we ended up there, but we got to see how our working the ball went. He's an A shot making. So we need another result on the iron column. 21 is a 4. We worked at 5 less than we intended to, so we do end up right on the center line. But we're, but we're on one diagonal, so we have to roll for. That was actually a really good first shot. So I believe straightaways are 10 feet away. Let me just, I'm gonna make a note here. Green straight. So I believe both of those will be minus two dice. And straight away. Here we are, 15 minus two dice. So 15 feet minus two dice. Let's see where we end up on the green. 12 feet away. So we're actually right on the center line, but we are on the green. So that's 12 feet away. And of course we're putting. So now do I want to try to go for it from 12 feet away? Um, I think I am going to go for it. So we need another roll here. Forty-six is a twenty-six. Yikes, that's not good. There's twenty-six from twelve feet. We leave it three feet away. And so on a three-foot putt, we're going to have to roll again. Sixty-one is a two. That'll be in. I should probably have mentioned, by the way, I'll take care of this earlier. I'll take care of this now. 
But what I've been doing is I've got my 2d6 here. I'm using my green die as my 10s, my white die as my 1s. And you combine them together. So a roll of... So if we roll a 2, 5 on the... If we roll a 2 on the red, a 5 on the white, we're reading that as a 25 instead of a 7. Well, it might be a 7 on the card for whatever... Never mind, Tiger Woods doesn't have a roll... A result of a 7 on a 25. So, figured I'd make that clear now, even though I forgot. But, let's go ahead and set up for the third hole. Third hole is a par 4, 455 yarder. 455 yarder. Looks like it's a pretty straightaway hole. There's some sand traps off to the right side of the fairway at about the... Starting at about 1... Starting about 169, I would say. Uh, pin 5 is way in the back of the green. Way, actually. We'll use that to mark it. So pin 5 is way back here. Basically almost in Timbuktu from the looks of it, but getting a little bit ahead of myself there. We're on the T, and I'm... No, nothing cute here, I think. We just grab the gri the driver. We just grab the driver and grip and rip it. Grip it and rip it. But, where do I actually want to put this thing? So, I think I want to put that... So, since I know I'm going to be hitting it to the... Since I tend to hit it to the right, I'm going to aim, I'm going to aim, I think I'm going to aim 10 to, actually I'm going to aim, yeah, 10 to the left. So we're going to aim it there. We got our first shot. That's a 65. I'm pretty sure that's, no, that's, a, that's actually a 3. Which is probably a good shot. 270, left 15, roll 30. So we're going to go to 270, which is actually a little bit short of where we wanted to go. So 270. So that's where we aimed. We're at 270 up here. Right 30, right? Yes. Actually 270, left. No, 270, left 15. Roll 30. So we actually ended up going even further. Oh boy. 5, 10, 15. Looks like that's just off the rough. And roll 30, but we'll only get half of that because we're landing in the rough. So 5, 10, 15. Alright, so that ended up being roll 15 and we're in the rough. Which also means we need to roll on the rough chart to see what kind of lie we have there. Let me find the... I think we're in the... Looks like we're in intermediate rough there. So we get our lie here. We'll roll on the rough chart. A 46 means we've got with the grass, so plus 5 carry on this next... Sh plus 5 carry on a fairway shot from the looks of it. Well, pl actually, plus... Nope, just plus 5 carry. So, now I'm short-sighted, which means I can't aim for the pin. What I'm going to do here... Oh, so we roll... Oh, we, I think we roll prior to the sh... Well, I'm lining up the shot right now, so we've got... So yes, we've got plus 5 carry. And right now, as far as calculating the shot, so we're going to grab the flag. Put it right here. For purposes, purposes of calculating distance... 5, 10, 15 back, 5, 10. So we're at the 280 mark. Let's see, calculating that out will be 380 will be 100, 20, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So 180, so that'll be 180 left 5. Do I go for another 5-iron knockdown? Because that worked so well off... Actually, we gotta come... I gotta remember, we're coming out of the rough. So I'm going to need more club for that. A 5-iron was enough coming off the tee in the last hole. But, can I even hit a... 
My average is a my average is a three on my irons, and I'm coming out of the rough. Um, I could go for a five iron again if I want to take a normal shot on that. And I think actually, what did we? Let me calculate that again. So. We're at 280, 120, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So yeah, 180, so 180. Mm, yeah, I think we hit five iron out of the rough and go for a knock. Actually, I gotta remember, five carry. So do I go? I think I owe six iron at normal instead, since I've got that plus five carry. So I think we'll go six iron for a normal shot, and we'll see what we hit here. And we're coming out of the rough. Sixty-two sounds like tr sixty-two is a five, coming out of the rough with a six iron normal. So what did we say that was 62 was a five? So that's giving me off the rough. 165, right 10, 165, right 10. Actually, that's gonna be 170, right five. I didn't really determine where I was aiming, but I think I was, but I was aiming, I was basically aiming for the center of the green which is probably about where I'm going to end up. So we go, so we're back to the center line here. So 160 is going to take me 380. So 100, 120, 45, 50, 55, 60. Let me bring that. So that's where we're at right now. 160, 160. 170, so we're at 65, 70. Right five, and do we get roll on the green? I think we do, coming out of the rough. We get roll 10. So we're gonna be five, 10, and we are on the green. Two straightaways away, which is going to be 30 feet minus two dice. So we're going to end up at, So 30 minus nine, we're gonna end up 21 feet away. Which is where our third shot will be, and we'll be putting for birdie. So that's a 21 foot shot. I think we're going to play this one safe. We've been getting burned going for it so far on the first two holes. So we're gonna just we're just gonna lag it up there and make our next putt for par easier. A 23 on a putt is a 21. That can't be good. So a 21 from 21 feet away. Right, 23 is a 21. Yep, we left it two feet away. Which is probably the best thing. To, which was probably the best thing to do there. So now we just need a normal. Now we just need a two foot, foot two foot putt for par. Ah, say that five times fast. Apparently, I'm tongue tied today. Thirty five on a putt is an eleven. I'm sure that's in. Yep, that'll be in. So we two putt the green. So we two putt the green once again. Even on the hole, one under par still on the day. With that, let's move to the fourth hole. Another sizable par four at 427 yards. We don't have any sand until we start getting up near the green all the way up here. So looking at our, looking at our hole here, not really much of a dogleg to note here either. 
So I think we are just going to grab the driver for the first shot as usual. And where do I want to put this one? I'm going to put this one. So he likes to hit woods to the left. So I think we're going to aim. So I think we're going to try to put it, if he hits to the, if he tends to hit to the left, I want to aim, we're going to aim five to the right. So we're going to aim there. Let's see what we get here. A 23 on a wood is a three, so he just misses average. So 270, left 15. I'm pretty sure we're going to get all of our roll on this one. So 270 is going to come here. Left, so 270 we're going to land here. Left 15. So 5, 10, 15. And then 30 yards of roll. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So we're going to end up right there on the fairway at the 300 yard mark with a very nice tee shot. So we got our full, our full roll there, which means we are now, and I should, should have mentioned this as well. Once again, we find ourselves short-sighted, uh, short-sighted. So we aren't able to aim for the pin. We have to go for the center of the green. The pin is right there. Let's see, five ten. We don't lose anything by trying to go to the center line. So now we're at 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So 125, left 10. He likes to hit irons to the right, though. So I'm looking at a 100, I'm looking at a 125 shot. Do I have anything at a three? I could hit a gap wedge as a knockdown shot, which I think is probably the best option I've got here. But I do need to factor in, actually we'd have no roll on the, oh, we're coming out of the rough too. We would lose five on roll on the green. So I think with that in mind, we're going to, we're gonna hit a gap wedge as a knockdown shot. Gap wedge knocked down, and I want to work the ball. Let's see. I want to. So if I'm. So if it's working five, I want to try to work it. Actually, I don't think I want to work the ball at all here on the origin line that I'm on. Um. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to work it five to the right. Actually, no, I want to work it. If I'm going from the center line, I think I want to work it 10 left. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. We'll work it. We'll work the ball 10. Actually, is that away from the... I believe working the ball is away from your current origin line. So actually, I don't think I want to work the ball at all here. So we're just going to hit this as a gap knockdown shot, a gap wedge on a knockdown shot. That's an 11, which is a 1. So I, all right, so gap wedge is a 135 on a knockdown, so I over, so I think I over hit it a little bit. All right, we were at, okay, what, let me just recalculate this, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So yes, I did over, I did overshoot a little bit. So that's 130. Actually, I hit 135 on a knockdown shot. So that was a, that was a 1. 135, left, 5, and no roll. So, so I actually hit it here. Left five, which means I'm in the rough. So I'm actually out here.
here. So now I need to hit a 5, 10, 15 away probably. 15. So I think I want a... So I think now I want a very light approach shot. So for my third shot, I want an approach shot of about, I think 15 yards. Looking at that, so 15 to 20, and we're in the rough. So we need to roll for the lie that we have there. There's my rough chart. That looks like intermediate rough. That's a 43, which is a high spot, so we have plus 5 roll when we land on the green. So we're going for an approach shot from 15 yards and we're coming out of the rough. But these shots don't have roll on them. That's a 52 on an approach shot, which is a 10. A 10. So coming out of the rough, we're going to end up 10 feet away. I believe we don't get dice on that one. So we are 10 feet away, which means we have to putt here for par. Just try to save par. 10 feet away, I think we're just going to... Um, we better go for it to try to save par. That's a 35 on putting. That's an 11. We're going for 10 feet away. On an 11, we made it in. So we managed to one putt our first green of the day. We're still at one under on the day. Let's go into our, let's set up our fifth hole next. Dog legs have always confused the hell out of me in Apple Golf. So I think for purposes of this game, we're going to pretend that Sir Isaac Newton was some crazy back in the 1600s and that he never discovered gravity and that physics isn't a thing. So, with that in mind, the advanced rules for dog legs have always confused me. So that's why we're going to pretend that Sir Isaac Newton was just a crackpot. But here's where, hole, here's where the pin is on the fifth hole that we're aiming for today. So, that's a pretty ugly dog leg. Um, well, we're going to, I'm going to see if I can make sense of this. I wish there was a note in here explaining how, how the dog leg works, but of course there is not. So, uh, let's see. Um... Now I gotta decide what shot I'm going for here. So we've marked the, we've established where the pin is. Um, actually aiming. Hmm. <sighs> Looking at the hole. We also got some bunkers off to the left side of the middle of the dog leg. Then we've got a bunch of bunkers surrounding the surrounding the green. Where do I want to put this first shot? Fortunately, dog legs are an advan are an optional game rule. So once again, we are going to can realize that Isaac Newton. We're going to pretend that Isaac Newton was crazy. So we're just going to hit into the dog leg like normal. We're just going to pretend that the ball curves mid-flight. So, with that in mind, I'm just going to grab the driver here yet again. Um, let's see, his average is going to be hitting right 15, so I want to aim left. So I'm going to aim left 10. I think is how we're going to do that. And now we're going to give our first shot on the hole a roll. Once I get my white die scooped up, let's give this a shot. 35 is a... We actually hit his average on that one. So 35 is a 2. 
which means now we can elect to take five less of the carry, but let's or five left of the direction. So let's go 280, so it's 280, right 15, but I can knock that down. I can knock that down by five yards because I did roll his average result, and I was aiming left 10. I think I'm going to knock that down, actually. So we're aiming, so we get 280, right 10, because we hit the average. So we ended up here, actually. 280, right 10. So we're actually dead on the center line, and roll 30. 5, 10, 15, 20... 25, 30. So we ended up there. Right on that red marker, which is very convenient. Then since we're on the center line, we actually, I don't think we can aim. But let's see, let me calculate the distance here. So 5, 10, 15, 40, 55, or 65. 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And we need to get 15 to the right. So I think we're going to go, I think we're going to work the ball. So I think we're going to, so do I have anything that clubs at 100 yards, that hits at 100 yards off the fairway? Probably looking at a wedge shot, most likely. Um, yikes. Actually, it looks like it might be in range where I could use an approach shot. Do I go for an approach? Let me calculate that again. 5, 10, 15, 40, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. Do I go for an approach 95? Actually, it would probably be exactly 100 if I go for an approach shot to account for the 15 yards to the right that I need to go. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go approach 95. We'll hit it that way. So we're hitting an approach shot from 95 yards out. So we're coming from the fairway. Let's see what happens here. That's a 22. That sounds like it's going to be good. That's a, actually, on an approach is a 2. 95 is a minus 5. Left 5. So we're ending up at 90. So we're ending up just short of where we were aiming and left 5. We're a diagonal and 1, 2, 3 straightaways away. So we are... 75 feet minus two dice. Which will translate to, hopefully, something high. Ten, so we're 65 feet away. Now we're putting for birdie, and from 60 feet away, I think we're going to play it safe. We're going to go for a safe 65-foot putt for birdie. So I'm going to move the flag so it's right there. So here's a 65-foot putt by Tiger Woods for birdie. And we're playing it safe. 62 is probably not good. 62 is a 16. Yeah, no. 60 foot, it's a good thing we're playing it safe because we're going to end up with it six feet away. Now for our fourth shot, this one's for par. This is from six feet away. That's a 33. That's a five. I'd be amazed if that isn't in from six feet away, and it is. So that's another two putt. Another par and minus one on the day. So, I think we can go into hole six next.
We're looking at quite a hellacious sixth hole here. We've got some bunkers here at around the 250 mark. Another one at 450, and we've got our first water hazard right around the green, along with a couple of greenside sand traps. So we need to be very careful of those. Along with a do another dog leg, which once again, pretending Isaac Newton's crazy. So for the sixth hole, I think once again, we're grabbing the driver for the first shot. And where do I want to put this one? Um, I definitely want to be further to the left side of the of the fairway, but Tiger tends to hit his fairway shots. He hits his woods to the, to the right, so we're going to need to aim a bit further left. So I want to put this one... I want to put this one about here, I think. So we're going to aim 10 yards off the center line. So I put my dice in the shaker already. Let's give this a roll. That's a 64, which is a 2. That's beautiful. <clears throat> so 280, right? I can knock that down if I want to, and I think I will knock that down to a right 10. And then I'll get my roll 30 off of that. So I'm going to end up at 280, right 10, roll 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So I'm going to end up at the 310 mark. 310 mark right on the center line. Very nice shot. Then for my second shot, I'm looking at a distance of... Hmm. I think we're going to work... Th so we're looking at a distance of about 200... Actually, we're 234 yards to the center of the green, but to get to our to get to pin five, which is right here, near the water, though. So I don't want to be. I definitely don't want to aim too far to the right, especially if I'm looking at an iron shot, which I think my woods are going to be too much club for this, most likely, especially since I'm coming off the fairway. So I'm looking at an. I am looking at a high iron shot. I think. So I'm looking at 200, what did I say, two, 234 yards. Do I go for my, I think I gotta go for my two iron here. And since I'm on the center line, I can't aim for the, actually, I believe it's center line. Can you aim for the pin on the center line? If, well, if you're if you're on this if you're on the center line, can you aim for the pin? Approaching this from the same side of the center line, it must use the center line as its origin. Okay. Must use the center line as their origin line, so I can't aim either way. So I think here, yeah, I'm going for my two iron. Even though I've, it might not be enough club, but let's see what happens here. So we're going for a two iron shot on the center line. Sixty three. Uh oh. So, oh, actually, never mind. Sixty three on irons is a four. Helps if I look at the right number, doesn't it? I was panicking a bit. Two fifteen. So that's gonna be two fifteen right five. And we'll see if I get any roll out of that. So 215 is going to end up with me being... So that's where I was at. So let me just calculate this out. So 310, 200, 215, 20, 25. So I'm getting 215, which means I'm going to end up 10 yards short of that. Uh-oh. Could be a problem. Right five. Yep, and I'm in the drink. So my ball decided to go swimming. Not good, which means I'll be on my fourth shot here coming up. And I believe in the water. I believe coming out of the water. 
I've got to... I think coming out of the water, I have to place it wherever I want, but I have to take a one-stroke penalty for that. And, of course, Appa does not have anything for the water. So I'm actually just going to play it right there, and I'm going to end up on my fourth shot. So I'm at the 525 marker. Now I want a shot of... Now I want an approach shot of 10. So approach shot of... So approach 10 is going to be my fourth shot, but at least I'm on the fairway. So that's something. Sixty-one on an approach shot is a three, which will end up with me three feet away. And somehow by a miracle, I think after landing in the drink, I think I'm going to save par on this hole. We're three feet away. 55 is a 7, and from 3 feet away, yep, I managed to save par. Somehow, after plunking into the water. But that's it for hole, for hole 5, or not actually hole, the 6th hole, now let's set up our 7th hole. Our pin is marked on the 7th hole. So 150, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. And I need to work the ball 10 right. Yeah, 10 right. So do I have something that's a 175 off the, off the tee? My camera decided to overheat on me and cut out in the middle of my thinking through my shot. But I think what I'm discovering here, at least with this video, is... About nine holes is probably a pretty good part length of the video, so that's probably what we're going to go for here. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm looking at a 175. I've got the fifth, I've got the pin five marked. Um, so I'm looking at one, I'm looking for 175. And I think we're going to go for a, ugh, I don't like that roll though. We got mostly sand around it, so I think if we hit a... So I think if we hit a 6-iron knockdown, I think if we hit a 6-iron knockdown and work the ball 10 right, yeah, that should work. So, actually, 6-iron, actually, I don't think we can even work the ball from the center line. Or can we? Uh, yes, we can, actually. So we're going to hit a 6-iron knockdown and work the ball 10, 10 right. Other right, Phoenix. Let's give this a roll and see what happens. A 36 on an iron is a 13. That's a problem. So 13... So we're going to be, well, actually, it's not a terrible shot. It's a 170. Actually, it's going to be a terrible shot. Right 20. So we ended up five short. 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, dear. And we hit right on the trail with a roll of five. So we are, actually, I think the edge of that is just barely rough from the looks of it. So... Well, actually, five, ten. So we're too deep in the trees. Yikes. That is not good at all. Which means we need to try to get out of those trees. Which I probably... Oh, I forgot he hits to the left. That was stupid on my part. So now we've got to worry about the trees. And I believe there's a chart for a tree light chart, Okay. So we're stymied. We're two, we're two squares into the tree, so we've got to roll for that. A 51 says we can play either aggressive or safe, so we get lucky there. Do I, 
want to try to pitch it out or do I want to go for rough line the center line um yikes that was a pretty terrible shot if I would have remembered he if I remembered would have remembered he hits actually no he he tends to hit his irons left so I think working the ball right was probably the right play but we have an option to play either aggressive or safe and I think we're going to pitch it out I gotta remember how a pitch out works looks like just a roll here all the desired distance back to the fairway which in this case would be the green so let's go for a pitch out of and I believe we got to calculate it the same way Right, call the desired distance back to a, a, via a perpendicular line. So 5, 10, 15, 20. We'll call for a pitch out of 5, 10, 15. We'll call for a pitch out of 15. So I'll make a note of that. Pitch out 15. And we are playing it safe. So, actually, let's. Yeah, pitch out 15 is fine. That's a 66, which means that we have plus 5 on our pitch out. So we're actually going to land 5, 10, 15, 20. So we're going to end up on a straightaway from the green, which is going to be 15 feet. Minus 2 dice. And I'll roll that here in a second. So we're ending up. We're ending up five feet away from the green, or five feet away from the pin. And by a minor miracle, we might manage to save par on this one, being five feet away. Let's give it a roll and see what happens. Forty-four on a putt is a six. I'd be stunned if that's not in from five feet away. Yep, that'll be in. So one putt even, we're still minus one on the day. Let's go to the eighth hole next at DC Metro. That was a very ugly seventh hole. We've got another par four here pretty straight away. Bunkers off to the right at starting at about 210. Actually two, yeah, about 210. And we've got the green surrounded in them. And there's our pin on this hole. A dog leg enough to note. So we're not going to worry about that once again. As for where I want to put this, we're going to, of course, grab the driver. And I think we're going to put, we're going to try to put this. All right, he hits his dry, he hits his woods to the left. So I want to aim right, which means I want to try to put it. I'm going to aim it right about there. Let's see what happens here. So we're aiming, so we're, we're aiming 10 off the center line, 10 to the right. Actually, what's the, that isn't a working with ball shot, I don't think, no. Um... Okay, start from the center line. Okay, so we're not we're not aiming anywhere for trees, so we're aiming ten to the right. That's a sixty-three, which is not that's a thirty-one. That's gonna be a huge problem. Let's see how terribly this shot went. Actually it's not a bad shot, I don't think. 305 left 10. Let's see, so 305 is going to end up... 305 is going to end up here. Left 10. Which will bring us back to the center line. Are you kidding me? Are we going to... No, we're not going to land on the green in one shot, I don't think. 
Alright, 310, roll 45. I'm pretty sure we're going to end up in the sand is where we're going to end up. So 310 is actually where we're ending up there. Actually, no, 305, I think. Now roll 45. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yep, we are going to roll right into the sand. So we're in the sand, but we are on the center line. So we're going to go... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I think we want an approach shot of 25, but we are coming out of the sand. So approach 25, coming out of the sand. <clears throat> I'm just going to make a note of that. That's a 66, which on an approach shot is a 36. Uh-oh. Uh, 25 coming out of the sand? Actually, that's all plus a die, which I believe is... So let me just see what hole plus die is. That sounds good, though, right? If the result occurs... Okay, so hole plus die indicates that rolls one die to determine the final distance in feet from the hole. So, hole plus die or dice? Okay, so hole plus die. So we're rolling one die. We're ending up six feet away. So basically we're right on the pin. We're six feet away. Let's see if we can make, make a birdie out of this coming out of the sand. So we're six feet away. No option to play it safe or go for it here. We got a six foot putt for birdie. That's a 25 on putting. 25 is an eight. I'll make a note of that in a second. So six feet away, we roll an eight. We're definitely, we are in. So we one putt, minus one, we're two under on the day. That's it for the eighth hole, now let's move to the ninth. We've got a monster hole here with another dog leg. We've got another par five, that's a 602 yarder. We've got a nasty dog leg here, no sand until we get up toward the green. That's up on a hill as noted by the note. Shots that land on the fairway short of the green, or on the green short of pin 4, roll backwards 10 yards, so we do need to keep an eye on that. Our fifth pin is way the flip up there. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see where that is. That is way up there in, in what I like to call Timbuktu, near the back corner of the green. So let's zoom back out. And I think, I think this will be the, a good point to, I think once we get through this hole, this will be probably where we'll stop this video. Because it's, this is also kind of a test recording on app of golf of sorts. Because I want to get the feel for how I can break this up. And it looks like coming in at about an hour change for half a round is probably a good place to be. If this was a Sunday video, I'd probably go the distance. But it's not, and we'll, t but it's not. And that's going to relate to what's coming up this weekend. We'll talk more about that later. So I think we're going to grab the driver once again. It would help if I click the pen down. So we're going to grab the driver. And I think since we know he likes to hit, to the, hit, hit his woods to the right, we're going to try to put this one about... We're going to aim 10 to the, 10 to the left. Since he likes to hit his woods to the right. So let's see what happens here. Fifty-one on a wood is a two. That's our average result. So our average here is a two eighty right fifteen. But I could knock that down if I want to, and I think I will knock that down to a right ten. 
So a right 10 will put me right, right on the center line. So 280 right 10, and I get roll of 30. With another good tee shot, so I'm going to end up at 310 right on the center line. Couldn't ask for a much better tee shot than that. We've got the... We've got quite a ways to go, though, in terms of getting to the green. I did bring a, I did bring a three wood with me. How much club is that going to be? 255. That would put me... 310. What did we say? 255? On a three wood? Uh, no, 265 on my average. So a 265 on that would put me... At 575, that would put me way out here. But I have to account for the 10 yards of roll. Which is probably fine. Well, actually, it's going to be 20, 20 yards of roll, but I've got to account for 10 back. I think we'll hit the 3 wood here. I think we'll hit the 3 wood here and see what happens. <clears throat> And where do I want to aim this? Do I want to aim off the center line? I think we'll aim... He hits his woods as we establish to the right, so I'm going to aim... Uh, do I want to be short-sighted, though, is the question. Because that's what I'm going to... Yeah, that's probably fine, since we know he likes to hit them to the right. I'll aim 10... I'll aim 10 to the left. That's a 54 on a wood. 54 is a 15. That's probably bad. 235. Left 20. Roll. I believe that's going to be roll 25. We'll see what happens here. So first we get 235, which is going to be well short of where we were aiming. Because we were aiming 265. So we're going to be 30 yards short of that. So 25, 30 right on this trail. So we're right there right now. Before we factor in that we're left 20. Actually, that's a big problem because we're actually ending up... We're going to end up well in the trees. So 235. So 510. So we were aiming there. 510, and I believe we established left. 235, left 20. 5, 10, 15, 20, yeah. And that will stop our roll. So we're actually ending up way up here in the trees. Right here. Ick. That was a terrible shot. Let's see what we are facing for a tree lie here. Probably nothing good. We are definitely stymied there. A 16 is... We have to play it safe, so we have to get back to the fairway. Which I think we'll pitch out... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So we'll have to pitch out 35. We're pitching out 35, which means we're going to have to roll for that. A 46. Is giving us a ten is giving us ten yards less on pitch out, so we're going to end up we're still in the rough, but at least we're out of the trees now. So now we have to roll for the So now so now we're on our fourth shot. We have to see what kind of rough we have. We're in the intermediate rough. A 65, which is an uneven lie. So we have to roll, we have to hit the shot from the fairway, then roll under 
Odd lie. Where is that? Oh, odd lie column. Here we go. Um, so I'm on the same side as the pin, which means I can't aim for the pin. Um, looks like we want 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So actually 5, 10 back to the center line. 15, 40, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. I can actually hit an approach shot from 90 yards, but I'm in the rough. Rather than try to get cute with it, we'll just hit an approach 90 from the rough. And do I want, want to work the ball? I don't think I do. That's a 34, which on an approach shot is a, on an approach shot is a four. So coming out of the rough, we have five yards less. So for five yards, oh, so it sounds like we are going to end up about here on the green. Then we have to roll under the odd lie because we're in the rough. That's a 45, which is minus 10 carry. So we're actually ending up, so that's gonna put us just in the sand because of course it will. So now we're on shot five, which means now we've got to hit a 5, 10, 15 yard approach out of the sand. So 15 approach coming out of the sand. This is going to be a rough hole. If we don't come out away from this with at least a double bogey, I will be very surprised. A 25 on an approach 15. 25 is a 2. Which means we are coming out of the sand. We're 7 feet away. So now we're putting. So we've got a 7 foot putt that we're looking at. Let's give this a roll and see what happens. 43 is a 27, yikes. Seven foot, oh, we had an option. We're, I assume we're just gonna play it safe. There's a 27, that'll be a one foot putt. This is shot seven, that's a one foot putt. Almost anything here is in. 32 on putting is a 20. And yes, that will be in. So Tiger Woods has a rough day, has a rough, has a rough ninth hole. He ended up with two putting the green. He's at plus two, which brings him back to even on the day. And I think that's a good place to wrap this video of Appa Golf. This is my first time playing it on the channel by myself. And there's a, I probably made a lot of rules mistakes, so I will welcome feedback. Just be nice, please. We'll probably finish this round sometime next week. I haven't decided exactly when yet, but again, that will do it for this playthrough of Appa Golf. No videos on until the, no videos, there will be no videos for the weekend until I come back from visiting my family on Tuesday afternoon. So hopefully you all have a very Merry Christmas and enjoy the content that I've been putting up this month. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.